Hi, Nancy Spears with Gen Connect here at the Aspen Food and Wine Classic. And today I have the privilege of talking with Carla Hall, who is an inspiration to many. She's the co-host of ABC's The Chew. She's opening a new restaurant and just an all-around amazing woman. Hi, Carla. Hi, Nancy. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you just got off of an airplane last night from Milan. Is that right? Yes, <laughs> yes. I was in Milan for the World Expo on a presidential delegation with the First Lady. Wow. And I understand it was, it was quite the festivity. Tell us more about it. It was. So we um, went there. When I first got there, we did a dinner. We had a dinner with um, the First Lady herself. And then mm -hmm. the next day, we toured the expo. We had a delegation meeting with the student ambassadors. And then we had a round table discussion about food and the future of food and this is the first time that the World Expo is all about food. So it's how are we going to feed 9 billion people in the world by 2050. Fantastic and so I think your credentials speak for yourself but what was your involvement um, in supporting the First Lady on this? So my involvement was she basically took this delegation with people all over um, just from different uh, aspects of the industry. And mine was more as a cook and really trying to get people to cook more at home. Mm -hmm. Because when you eat at home, when you cook at home, the food is more nutritious. It is, you have less salt, sugar, fats, and so really for people to get back and eat at home. I mean, we do want to, we want to support our restaurants, but the fact of the matter is the snacking, the unhealthy food, the fast food, that is what's making us really obese. And the United States has the highest, like 35% of, of our people, our citizens are obese. Unbelievable. But it's starting to level out because Good. of what she's doing. That's great. Mm -hmm. And so this goal of feeding a billion, when, what's the, um, how are we how are we progressing on that? Well, the thing is, when you think about how are we going to feed all these people when we don't have any more land? We're not going to get any more land. Right. So it's about living walls, like the gardens, like on a living wall. It's mm -hmm. about um, living um, rooftops. You see a lot of them in Chicago and, and different places. It's about um, inner city gardens, which we're seeing. There is um, one of the farmers from... Uh, I think he's from Milwaukee. His name is um, Will Allen, and he has these multi-level greenhouses, this um, new, um, just a way of actually growing food in a multi-story building. And that also, fascinating. it's fascinating mm -hmm. because of this, you don't have to worry about the soil. You can create your soil. Wow. So versus, we're, we're not going to get any more soil right. in the planet. Right. The soil is the soil. But if you're doing it in a greenhouse, if you're doing um, ag um, hydroponics where things grow much faster, that is, that is the future. Fantastic. So basically you're going to teach people how to be sustainable. Yes. yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Well, you're, you're um, beyond sustainable. You're just almost timeless. I can't believe you crossed the world like this and look like you do, but it's great to see you, Carla. Uh, thank you. Best of luck with all you're doing. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. So for more with Carla Hall, please check her out on Gen Connect or Food and Wine or on the Tube. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>